Welcome back to the channel folks. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up forwarding to multiple users or multiple email addresses inside and outside of your organization. Uh, usually you just want to have a forwarding setup for one user uh, which let me just show you quickly. So for example if you want Diego to receive emails that were sent to Adele uh, what you would do in that case is just log into your admin portal, go to the active users. Uh, let's let's just get Diego's email first of all here. So Diego is the second person who should be getting emails sent to Adele. We we'll go to the Adele user, hit mail option at the top, click on this box here, choose that, enter Diego's email and just hit save. That's about it. That's as simple as it goes for simple one-to-one -one user email forwarding. However, what if uh, you know your IT manager, who someone puts in a ticket asking, "Hey, can we set up a multiple users? For example, uh, Gina, Diego, and Alex should also be getting emails that are received by Adele." In that case, uh, we can. What we can do is we can go to the exchange admin center and just create a rule so ad admin center under the mail flow you click on rule or rules click on add rule let's just create a rule here name it forwarding to multi users so we will select the recipient and in this case the recipient is Adele so either we can type in their name or email and we'll just show that up hit save so this is the first part of the rule the recipient is Adele what we want to do with that is we need to send that so what we basically do is we just add recipients and uh, we will send it as to not CC or BCC and in this we will just select the so Alex Diego and do we say Gina yeah let's add three you can add multiple it doesn't matter hit save make sure their email is populated make sure the recipient email is correct and let's just hit next here we will enforce it right away uh, let's hit next just go through your rules and settings and you can hit finish and should take a moment and yeah it has been done you can see the forwarding rule is set up. Now, one thing to be careful, you, people uh, miss this. The rule is created, but it's not enabled yet. So you can see the status says it's disabled. Uh, the, the only step left for us to do is just enable it. So select the box and why is it? Oh, just click on it. I thought it will show up, up but uh, it's, it's different. So just, uh, you know, uh, enable it close it let's refresh it and it's enabled so basically you click on this and you just slide it back and forth uh, to disable it or enable it and let's just refresh this one more time make sure the rule is enabled and applied and if we go to mail flow rules again there we can see it is set that's about it. Uh, there is one more way you can use which is creating a distribution list and adding these uh, recipients to that list. However, if you are just dealing with the basic business environment, not a lot of users, not a lot of policies, this rule is much easier to set up. Just adding the rule is much easier to set up and it's less of a headache. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Thank you.